The story of science and arts goes back to the fall of 1907, the year Oklahoma became a state and Chickasha was celebrating her 15th year of growth and was making plans to secure one of the many colleges planned for the state. On May 16, 1908, the university was founded with the signing of Senate Bill 249 by then-Governor Charles Haskell. The legislature then appropriated $100,000 for the construction of buildings on campus. Built in 1928 at a cost of $125,000, the Physical Education Building was designed in the art modern architectural style of construction, the only one of its kind on campus. This style of construction, taken from the 1930s, was seen as a response to the Great Depression, with buildings built to be more streamlined and austere. The original building contained a gymnasium, classrooms, offices, bowling alley, dance studio, and an indoor pool. This place is awesome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Nancy Osborne, and I taught here for 39 years. I retired in 19, and I taught for a total of 52 years. This building is a part of OCW construction. Everyone that went to school here, all the women, no matter what your major, you had to do two things. Number one, you had to climb the rope at the end of that gym and ding the bell at the top. And if you couldn't, you had to come back and keep doing it until you could. Because the school wanted you to be strength in the body, strength in mind, because they were training you to be in the workforce and not necessarily be married if you didn't want to be. AC Blue Eagle, a Pawnee Creek artist, painted a series of Indian murals and images in 1934 that can still be seen on the walls and floor of the gymnasium. When this was OCW, they taught elementary PE up here and outside. They taught secondary methods of PE up here and outside, and so did I. And then this was also for dances, folk, square, and social dance. And when they got ready to have a dance, they would contact the people down at Lawton, at the um, military base down there, Fort Sill, and ask them to ship up some men <laughs> so that the ladies would have a man to dance with. And then the other thing that was taught up here was some tumbling, and I had that. And then another thing was fencing. Now, fencing up here was dry fencing. And dry fencing means you don't have the electricity like they do in the Olympics. All OCW students were expected to be proficient in swimming. A student club called the SEALs gave public performances featuring synchronized swimming, relay races, and diving exhibitions. Fabulous, fabulous pool. <laughs> and I want to point out that over there, those were all sliding glass doors. And you could open them and then go down the steps that are out there and sun. Leave them open, which we did, and come back in and swim. The building and programs associated with it received both local and national attention by becoming one of the most comprehensive programs of women's physical education in America. For more than 110 years, the Science and Arts campus has provided students with a different type of education, full of opportunities to learn, grow, and flourish. Your support of our teaching facilities empowers our students to continue pursuing their educational hopes and dreams for the next 110 years. For more information on how you can contribute, contact the Development Office at 405-574-1393.